What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. In today's video I have some great news for those of you who are interested in jailbreaking, but also some bad news for those of you interested in security. Security researcher Pattern F posted, quote, iOS 14.0 remote jailbreak demo, RCE plus LPE, which means remote code execution and local privilege escalation exploit. Don't stay on versions on or below iOS 14.3. If you click a malicious link, bad guys would steal everything on your iPhone. So as it turns out, Pattern F was able to create a Safari based jailbreak like Pawn My, but this one works on 14.3 and lower. So, if everything in here gets released, we will be able to get a replacement for Uncover or Torin, which would actually work directly from Safari, so you wouldn't have to sign anymore. That's the good part, that's basically the good news. We would be able to create a Safari jailbreak for 14.0 to 14.3. However, as Pattern F says in here, we do have a problem. This means that if you're running any of the vulnerable versions, absolutely any link you tap on your device and you visit in Safari has the potential to steal absolutely everything from your iPhone because your iPhone is vulnerable. So you have to be extremely careful, especially since there is no fix currently available. There might be a tweak in the future to fix this, but for now there is no fix other than updating your device, which of course means you will lose your jailbreak. Now if you take a look at the video in here, you can see that Pattern F basically shows their device, which is an iPhone running iOS 14, and then of course they show the iOS version in there, they show the device type and so on and as you can see they go here in Safari and they're not accessing a website but rather an IP address which is basically the same thing but they host it here on an IP address not on a domain and of course it's just an HTML button that calls their exploit and once that is done they are able to jailbreak their device and as you can see the console tells you exactly what's going on in there it's basically an exploit written in JavaScript and once they run it you can see they got the task port they got the surface ID in there and everything that they they need so at this point their device is indeed jailbroken and then they attempt to run an SSH command so that they connect via SSH to their device they are able to exchange the fingerprint in there and then they're able to connect to the device you can see they're now root and everything seems to be working fine they are able to run commands and so on so you can see that this is basically working very well the good thing about this is that we would be able to create a pawn my kind of jailbreak for example an uncover for iOS 14.3 and lower but in Safari or a Torin directly in Safari or even update Pawn My if this gets released. However, it's also a very important security risk and until a patch is available for your jailbroken device, I would actually urge you to be very careful what links you click. You are vulnerable and even if you're not jailbroken, you are still vulnerable if you're running any of those versions. Timstar seems to be interested in creating a patch for this kind of vulnerability, but for now they are working on it, they need to know what to patch first. So there is no patch available for the moment and while this does have good implications for pawn my because we would be able to update it for 14.3 and lower and jailbreak directly from Safari it also means that you are now running a very important security risk and this as I said goes from iOS 14.0 all the way up to 14.3 which of course are currently not signed but many people are running those versions because of uncover and Torin, which only supports 14.3 and lower so yeah this is actually great news for the jailbreak community you will be able to ditch the signing of of IPA files and alt store and computers and so on you will be able to jailbreak directly from Safari which is quite cool but at the same time until a patch tweak is available it does expose you to a very important security risk so yeah that's basically it a very interesting demo but it's definitely frightening to see that big of a bug in iOS so yeah, thank you for watching I am Geosnow peace out